Hey guys, welcome back to Carnal Dish. Today is my first attempt at making karagi, which is Japanese fried chicken. It is absolutely succulent, so juicy and flavorful, crispy. It's served so simply with a crunchy element, lemons and Japanese mayo. Let's get started. The first thing that I'm gonna do is debone my chicken thighs. I'm using skin on bone and chicken thighs. Um, they were like $5 for a pack of 10. Um, but I'm only using like maybe five chicken thighs here and I'm just cutting them into bite-sized pieces once I take the bone out You just want to make sure that all the pieces are even and you can keep the bones for stock later like I'm doing here You're gonna put the chicken in a bowl and then you're going to grate some fresh garlic some fresh ginger right into the chicken um, the amount is really you know up to you and then you're gonna pour in some really flavorful soy sauce some marin and you're also going to add some sake followed by a nice healthy dose of black pepper gently toss this mixture around so that every piece is coated and you're going to cover this with plastic wrap and set it aside on your counter for about an hour okay don't go longer than that it might get too salty you're going to coat the chicken in a dredge you can use flour you can use um, just cornstarch potato starch whatever you want to use I'm using a mixture of all-purpose whole wheat flour which is really soft and potato starch so coat the chicken pieces evenly dust off the excess and set it on a plate for about five minutes so the coating can adhere this is Japanese mayo and I'm just simply squeezing this right out of the bottle and adding an umami punch of this rice seasoning it is so delicious I'll leave a link below as to where you can get it um, meanwhile the oil is at 350 degrees so this is our first fry we're gonna fry this chicken twice you're gonna fry your chicken um, just in small batches you don't want to overcrowd the pan and bring the temperature of the oil down too much and after about four or five minutes you're gonna take the chicken out and let it rest and then you're going to jack up the heat and you're going to basically bring the heat to like 400 degrees or so for the second fry so take this out and listen to this so yeah you're gonna fry this chicken a second time um, while the oil is 400 degrees for just one to two minutes max you're gonna take the chicken out and then you're going to just drain it on either paper towels. I'm using a baking sheet with a cooling rack on it so that the oil can just kind of drip down. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of sea salt. I did not need to add much. It's really important that you taste the chicken, um, you know, just to make sure you don't need to add any extra seasonings. But yeah, I'm just adding some sea salt here. And basically that's it, you guys. Like this comes together really quickly you're going to serve this with a crunchy element such as a lettuce or a cabbage i'm using um, savoy cabbage here it's really crunchy and fresh and you serve it with lemons the lemons are essential do not forget the lemon it brings out all the flavor of the chicken in such an amazing way that you just wouldn't believe like this is such a simple meal but it is so so flavorful the meat is juicy it's crispy you serve it with that creamy Japanese mayo and you just eat everything in like one bite it's absolutely stunning I love it it's simple oh I cannot wait for you to try this recipe She make you wanna lick the plate